Hi guys, John here. Um, I wanted to uh, make a video about the new chat client that's about ready to be released um, by us. And I wanted to um, clarify some of the issues that people are having with it. Um, it seems to be a lot of confusion around what exactly is it, what can it do, what can it do. Um, and so I wanted to take a moment and kind of go through some of the things. First of all, it is a Java application. It's completely independent of the game. So meaning you can take this application, install it at work, and not have the game installed, and it will run perfectly fine. Um, you cannot be logged into the game and the chat client at the same time using the same account. Um, it will boot you from one or the other if you try to do that. Um, it is completely um, supposed to be a uh, complete interface into the game in terms of the information the game gives you. So if your base is under attack and you're in a different galaxy, it should notify you that way. Any private messages to and from players in the game or to and from in chat are completely valid. Um, all the channels except for the galaxy channel because your ship isn't in the game when you're logged into the chat client. Um, that was a somewhat confusing issue for some people. You're not vulnerable whatsoever. All, you, all you're able to do is chat and receive and send messages. Um, there is also going to be a chat client only channel which players in the game cannot access and that will be for any um, you know just chat chatter that really isn't game related you know we're not going to really enforce this obviously um, if you're abusing the chat channel or any of the channels you will be banned just like you would in the game but um, this will be a channel that kind of can people can talk about non star sonata related issues or things that maybe don't really belong in any of the other standard in-game channels. So um, yeah, so if you, you, can t you can tell, so if people haven't used it yet, there will be a greater than or less than uh, brackets around the name instead of the parentheses. Um, if it's uh, the greater or less than, that means that you're, the person's using the chat client. If there's parentheses just like in-game, means that the message is coming from the in-game. Um, that's an easy way to tell who's using what. Let's see, oh yeah, one more thing. People requested this and I added it this weekend. Um, that expired accounts can now use the chat channel. So if you have an account that is you're no longer paying for, you still can access the chat client and talk to people in game. We'll see. We'll make sure this is kind of an experimental feature. If there's some somehow this is being abused, um, we may disable it. But right now, um, it is will be available to everyone who has an expired account. Um, one thing that the chat client has is it. If you close the window itself, it will uh, minimize to the taskbar tray, which is usually in your right-hand corner of Windows, and it will still maintain a active link to the game. You can directly close it through the file menu, saying close chat client, or right-click on the Star Sonata icon in your uh, system tray and say exit. That will officially exit you from the chat client. But normally, uh, we kind of designed it so it would stay open, so people wouldn't have to be maintaining a constant vigil about all the things they can kind of check on it time to time to, to kind of get an update of what's going on in their game or their team. Uh, and so we're hoping that um, it will be something that people can have on most of the time. It will log you out after 12 hours of inactivity, um, just as a warning, because we don't want these things to be connected just on computers that are just sitting there not being used for days or weeks at a time. Um, let's see, I think that's about it. Um, I hope that um, it will be of use to people. We're pretty excited about it. And um, we're obviously accepting feedback. And we're still in the very end process of the beta testing phase. So if you haven't downloaded it and installed it, um, right now it's connected to the test server. But soon it will be t linked to the main game. And it will be active for everybody. So it will be free of charge. So that's about it. And uh, hopefully we'll have it done by the uh, end of the week. So take care.